Joseph Lancia, man, true beast, baby. He is the Rhode Island president, and we have been covering his ordeal the whole time from start to beginning. And it just ended. And boy, did he whoop him. He whooped him. This is a guy who took the judge to task, went through all kinds of appeals because she did have a conflict of interest with her husband, who was a lieutenant or something like that, on the case that went, well, not on the case, but raided uh, Hell's Angels, Rhode Island before. And he took her to task. He really put it, he put that boot in that ass, baby. Put it right up the poop chute. He was facing 60 something years because of a coward ex prospect ran to the little cops and, you know, he did this to me. And this guy stood up like a beast, man. True beast. It's awesome seeing that kind of stuff. It really is. We're going to go into that. Also, we're going to go into a honorary wall for motorcyclists are coming uh, to this town. It's going to be a good little show, man. Good little show. Let's get this sucker rolling. Ah, oh, man, just seeing that intro with that riding, oh, and I'm over, it, it was minus 17 degrees here in Illinois yesterday, minus three, I think, today, Ugh, cold, anyway, let's go to our deal right here, San Antonio, Motorcycle club helping kids overcome abuse. Don't forget to check out the last live stream we did. We had a guest star tank on where we talked about how bikers, they'll always protect those that are weak. Go check it out. Good conversation there. San Antonio. And this is one that uh, actually came up from Carlos, I believe it was. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, we have an awesome cause. You can support the Guardians of the Children, a nonprofit made up of motorcycle enthusiasts, is helping kids overcome abuse. Beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff. They are hosting a Spirit Day. On Saturday at Barbecue Smokehouse, I think that's in two days here. To talk of, uh, to talk to us more about the organization and event is Tex, president of the Guardians of the Children here in San Antonio. Uh, beautiful stuff, man. Huh. Too bad they didn't have the video. Go figure. Uh, anyway, it is at 5603 Presado Parkway in San Antonio, Texas, baby. Always support them groups. You got Guardians of the Children. You got BACA. You got all of them, man. You got Bikers Against Bullies. Great people, man. Great people. Let's go to the Traveling Fallen Biker Wall. It's coming to Poughkeepsie Bike Expo. Uh, let's go here. This is out of 101.5 WPDH, and we got an announcement coming up at the end of the show, baby. Oh, it's a big one. Big one, big one. In all my years of working in the Hudson Valley Radio, I have found that there are few people more caring and charitable than our Hudson Valley bikers. You got that right, man. I'm glad somebody recognizes the work that bikers do. There are dozens and dozens of motorcycle clubs. And you're always hearing about one of those clubs hosting a charity bike run. Yes, put the word out there. That's what I'm talking about. A party to raise money for a cause, a toy collection for kids, especially pre-pandemic. So when something comes up to celebrate our bikers, 
I'm going to help spread the news. I like this one. Who's the name here? Robin Taylor. You're awesome, man. You're awesome. The Hudson Valley Motorcycle is coming to the MJN Convention Center, formerly the Mid-Hudson Civic Center, on Saturday, January 29th from 10 to 6. So, Saturday, make sure you get your butts over there. It's going to be a day full of everything biker-related. There will be live music, vendors, swap meet, motorcycle show, and the most important parts of the show will be the traveling fallen biker wall that you know what is a oh my god is that a beautiful idea beautiful the traveling fallen biker wall not only honors our fallen bikers it also aims to save lives and uh, decrease motorcycle fatalities by educating the public increasing driver awareness of motorcycles Promoting safe riding habits and proper use of safety gear. If you're a biker or you want to honor a biker, if you have a passion for motorcycles or if you just want to have a fun day checking out cool bikes, great music and awesome people, then head to the MJN Convention Center again on the 29th. And she goes on to say, no to all our Hudson Valley bikers, thank you for all you've done and all you continue to do. I really like this broad. Robin Taylor, you're freaking awesome, man. Now, if the mainstream media will carry that same kind of sense for bikers, it'll be beautiful. Be beautiful. God, that was a good story. I like that one. Now, to beast mode. Beast, man. This is an awesome story to me because we've been following it. Joseph Lancia, the president of the Hells Angels in Rhode Island, changed his plea on Friday after reaching a deal with prosecutors and was sentenced to five years in prison. He was facing 60, and he actually made that judge do a double take when he says, you know what, I'm pleading not guilty to all the charges. He said, what, you're facing 60 years in prison? And he's probably in the back of his head saying, too bad, witch. You know, I have to say something uh, else other than swear on my platform now because of the YouTube uh, uh, PC guards, if you will. Anyway, Lancia 30 of uh, Smithfield appeared in Providence Superior Court along with about a dozen members of the motorcycle club wearing their full patch jackets for the hearing before Associate Justice Christian Rogers. That's what I'm talking about. Showing up, not embarrassed of who you are, and fighting the system. You know, that's one thing about the older 1% clubs like the Angels, the Outlaws, uh, the Ditos. A lot of them go to the mat, man. A lot of them go to the mat. Uh, he pleaded uh, no contest to the charge of felony assault and battery, as well as carrying a gun without a license. The more serious charges of discharging a firearm when committed a crime of violence and assault with intent to commit murder were dismissed. That's because... You know he's a fighter. You know that he was going to the mats. And he was going to make you guys look stupid, especially your witness. Uh, he has to return to court on the 18th to turn himself in so he to begin his sentence to the adult correctional institutions in Cranston. Along with the five years in prison, he will also be on probation for 10 years. Oh boy, do they got to send that one in. Uh, the main case against Lancia uh, stems from a June 2019 incident when police said he fired a gun at a truck driven by Richard Starnino. You putz. Once a prospect to join the biker club who was involved in an ongoing dispute. Putz. Uh, let's see here. Investigators said video surveillance shows him shooting at the truck. That's allegedly. You dropped them charges. Shouldn't be putting that in here. He was driving past the Hells Angel uh, Providence Hells uh, headquarters on Mesner. 
The main evidence against Lacia was from the clubhouse's own security system. But again, it was dismissed. Why are you pushing this narrative? Shame on you. The investigation into the shooting led to a dramatic daytime raid by the uh, Rhode Island State Police. So he pleaded uh, no contest to one count of assault with purpose of knocking someone unconscious. <laughs> I love it. Two other counts were dropped. Those charges stem from the altercation. Uh, during uh, Friday's court appearance, Rogers asked Lancia if the facts of the case were true. Yes, he replied. After the hearing, he declined to comment, but his attorney, Joseph Ocallo, if anybody needs an attorney, get this guy if you're out in Rhode Island, said his client decided to change his plea because, quote, we thought it was in his best interest to do so, and he wanted to put this matter behind him. He was also ordered to stay away from Starnino, but for eight years as part of the plea deal. Uh, total in all nine charges, he could have faced 61 years in prison if he was found guilty. Uh, let's see here. Rogers warned uh, Lancey on uh, February 18th when he is scheduled to return to court to be sent. She would send him to prison for the full 18-year sentence should you not appear in a timely manner. And I mean even five minutes late. Oh, what a witch! She mad that he took her ass to account. Uh, also uh, chained in his plea was Lance uh, Umar, or, or Imer, 57, a full patch uh, member. Uh, he pleaded no contest to one charge that he removed uh, some video evidence equipment. Uh, let's see here. Assistant Attorney General Joseph McBurney told the court the video showed him uh, fi uh, you know, firing, blah, 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 blah. Gotta love it. I love it. He he pissed her off so bad. If you're late even five minutes, you're going to jail for the 18. You putz. Just like that other guy. Anyway, uh, if you're in the Gainesville, uh, police uh, are going to be, if you're in that area, they're going to offer a free training course for motorcycle safety in spring. Always good for a training course. Let's listen in. Gainesville police are trying to decrease motorcycle accidents by offering free training to riders. GPD is holding the Safe Motorcycle and Rider Technique course this spring. Lessons are modeled after the same courses GPD motorcycle officers take to keep them safe on the streets. FDOT is providing funding for the course. All riders need is a motorcycle endorsement to sign up. The first class is March 12th and courses run through May. Rock on, rock on, rock on. Good stuff there. Uh, so, big announcement. February 7th at 8 p.m. 7 Central Time, we will have Eric Mancow Muller on the show. If you guys don't know who Mancow is, something's very wrong with you people. He was a nationally syndicated shock jock, man. He's the one who gave that big bird-looking dude, uh, Howard Stern, a run for his money. He actually kicked his ass. Uh, but he's running for governor of Illinois. Yes, we got to get all our bikers in Illinois behind him. Get rid of all this communism. He will be on the show again. February 7th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Also, we're getting a lot of good interviews. We're reaching out to people now. Uh, we're hoping to uh, do one at least twice a month, me and Black Dragon. Working really hard to get some good, good interviews in here. And we're going to be doing uh, King of Psychedelic uh, Choppers, man. It's coming up. If you don't know who that is, something's wrong with you. Get into the history, baby. Anyway, that's the show for today. You can hear the replays of the show with China Dow on it in the second half of the show over on the podcast platforms. We'll be right back after this music break, baby. We outie.